Hi runners and other like minded people. So today I'm going to be talking about how to tackle runner's knee. So firstly, before we go into how to tackle the injury, I think we should talk about what actually is runner's knee. So its proper name is patellofemoral pain syndrome. Now that's a very com complicated name, so they've just sort of shortened it down to just runner's knee because it's typically speaking only runners that really get this sort of injury. It's what it is, is when you run, you may have uh, got this yourself, it's within the knee when you're running, because you've been, uh, it's like really stiff and it feels like you have a sort of lack of movement when you take each stride and you hit the ground. This is really caused by, because you're hitting the ground with a lot of impact, when you hit the ground, especially with a bent knee, that's putting a lot of impact and it's needing to absorb a lot of pressure. And over time, this can cause injury and yeah, it's not an actual really bad injury. It's not any damage to the cartilage or tendons itself. So it's not really serious, so don't panic. It's just some o typical overuse injury and it's something which can be sorted. It doesn't mean you need to reduce your mileage. You can keep going as usual, but it's usually either having tight hamstrings, weak quadriceps or uh, tight uh, shins. And it's those things, or, or your t uh, a tight IT band as well, which is down the side, just here. Now this can be actually sorted very easily, and just by doing a few simple things, this can be reduced. And also, if you don't have the injury, this video is still going to help you to actually reduce the uh, risk of actually getting this injury. It's a very minor injury, so I'd call it more just, that's why they call it a pain syndrome more than just injury, because it's just simple things that you can sort by just having tight and weak muscles in that in and around the area for this injury it's not actually the knee itself which is causing the problems it's things pulling around it which is actually causing the issue itself now let's go on to talk about how you can actually fix this because it's uh, just a few simple things but you may not be aware of how to do it so firstly is foam rolling now i'll leave my video of how to do foam rolling on the top right hand corner right now and also just I'm just going to a bit of just a little overview of things which you can do out of that video there are a few key things which are going to assist you in uh, preventing this injury more than others so firstly is foam rolling your IT band which is down here like I was saying and it's just maybe use a foam roller like this if they're really really tender just keep on focusing on it with something like this which is quite it's very fairly squishy or if it's if you really want to get into there, you can use something like this, which is really going to get in. This is uh, meant to simulate uh, like fingertips getting into there, or this one's like palms. And that's actually what this was designed for, to get that more intense feeling and foam roll effect. It's a lot stiffer than this one. So yeah, just kind of find out what is best for you. You can do your IT band, like I said, and shins as well. And when I say shins, I'll pro probably use the blue foam roller for this one but it's not actually the shin itself because you have your bone with your shin going down here and then either side you have some muscles here where, where you also get shin splints. Now what you want to do is you want to go along with the foam roller on the side of here and foam roll either side of that bone. And what this is gonna do is it's really gonna release the tension because these muscles on your shins are directly linked to your knee itself. So you really need to make sure you roll them out to keep them nice and loose also your hamstrings you want to just sort of get on the foam roller or if you want to trigger point you could use one of these a bit and you get that underneath and you really roll out and bring your leg up and down just to really try and loosen them off a bit now the second way that you can prevent and fix this injury of the runner's knee is doing strength exercises particularly doing the clamshell and the donkey kick i'll put it up on the screen how to do these two exercise exercises right now now really what this is going to do is it's going to strengthen those, strengthen those areas of your IT band and your glutes and hamstrings because it's re it can be having tight muscles but also the muscles being a bit weak and it's going to and there's not much support on the knee and the knee is taking too much force and the muscles around it are not really doing their job enough to be able to prevent this over uh, impact on the actual knee itself so give those exercises go and you'll probably and you'll be able to see the effects of feeling a stronger runner as well as well as um, lowering the risk of getting runner's knee or even just uh, overcoming it but don't actually do these strength exercises if you already have the injury focus on doing some stretching of your hamstrings 
and doing some of the foam rolling and once you've got rid of the injury the strength exercises are to prevent it so then once you've got rid of the injury do the strength exercises on top of the foam rolling and stretching uh, you I would probably do these every other day maybe all of these different exercises I've given you I personally do them every single day just to make sure I'm right on board with everything and everything's working how it should do but you'll probably be alright with just uh, doing these different things every single uh, every other day even but if you want to you can do them every day it's really up to you but I'll do it several times a week at least to really reduce your risk of getting this injury now of course this is just my advice I'm not any doctor I'm not a physiotherapist or anything this is just what works for me because I've got the runner's knee about two times now when I'm upping my mileage and getting really high distances in when I'm training for half marathons so yeah just don't take my word for it so if this doesn't work I'll try it but if it doesn't work for you don't blame me because this is just what's worked for me so if you still get these issues after trying these things don't come back to me asking me what what have I told you that's wrong go to a physiotherapist because maybe it's not a runner's knee injury but it's obviously try these things out and it may fix it as free basically and yeah just if the injury continues and you can't really resolve it by doing these simple things that obviously then go to your GP or physiotherapist or sports therapist just to really knuckle down and work out what the problem is that's going on so thank you very much everyone for watching my video don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell, share with your friends and family and anyone that you think would enjoy my videos. And most importantly, don't forget to keep running.